Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the basketball opening game here in the Whitetails Dynasty. Our basketball squad has never had a winning season, and we take over here as the AD, and we will see what our team can do. Our starting lineup to open season one will be King Watson, the junior at point guard. He will figure to be our best scorer. Jarvis Joshua is an excellent two-way player. Now, he is a great playmaker on defense, meaning he can start fast breaks with quick steals and getting buckets in transition. Elias Dulock will be at the three. He is a true freshman, and he will be a sharpshooter from the outside. Janko Moon, every team has one leader on the team, and that is Janko Moon. He is a senior. He will probably be one of our highest scorers, leading scorers this year. Dante Peppers will be our big man. Uh, David Cutler and Manny Pablo will come off the bench. Pablo being a freshman along with uh, Tristan Wynn. Pooh Van Macklin and Christian Love is a freshman as well, who is more of a stretch four. And then we have a couple of guys at the end of our bench that will get some playing time as well this year. Now we go up against Oregon to start this season, and they are led by Lewis Malone, one of the guys who is expected to be an All-American as a junior this year. Now, if you missed the first episode, pretty much how I will classify classes of uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior is their age. 19 is freshman, 20 is sophomore, 21 is a junior, 22 is a senior. Now, Oregon has a pretty well-rounded team, obviously led by uh, Lewis Malone, but we will see what we can do. Here's how we match up versus their team, and as, as far as overalls go, we kind of have a balance in our starting lineup and guys coming off the bench. I wanted to make sure that our team kind of fits together and we play good basketball, good team basketball. So let's get this season underway as we do win the tip off. Dante Peppers at the five will win it. And here we go. We will run a lot of plays. We'll make sure we get some plays to get certain guys open. Here's King Watson, though. He does find Dante Peppers, who says he has a mismatch. He gets it over to King Watson. Four on the shot clock. He's still passing the ball around. Dulock, will he get a shot off from the free throw line? And that one will be off for the first shot of this series. Oregon goes the other way in transition, and they get an easy bucket. And that will be one of the things we'll have to really be disciplined on defense. Elias Dulock here in the second possession here, passing it over to Jarvis Joshua. He doesn't have an eye on the shot clock and fades away in a shot clock violation already. Sloppy play from the Whitetails early on. Here is Malone from the outside. This is a three. It rattles in and out. Defensive board by Jarvis Joshua starting the break. Here is Watson inside the Janko Moon in the first bucket of this series will come from the senior captain in Janko Moon. 2-2 game, and here is a drive and a dunk and an and one. A foul on Joshua. He could not get around that screen fast enough, and Sloan throws it down. He's figuring to be probably the second leading scorer on this Oregon team as he goes to the free throw line here for the and one, and he will convert. So now down by three early on. Here is a three by Dulock. He's open, and he cannot get that one to go. He missed long on that one, but he stays with the play and gets the deflection and the steal, and Dulock to the basket. Those are the type of plays we will need to define our players in this series. Look at the hustle. Dulock gets the deflection on the pass. Janko Moon comes up with it, and Dulock gets the layup. And, man, that is what I want to see from this series a whole lot of hustle. That Those are the type of guys I will recruit as well. Four to five game now. Dante Peppers calls for the ball. We give it to him on a tough shot and good defense by 54, keeping his hand straight up. We will still rock with college rules. Five fouls. We move that down. There's obviously an NBA 2K mod. Five fouls in the whole game. We'll play four quarters. You can't really mod it that way, but we will play eight minute quarters and we will see how it goes. Either eight or seven. I'm not really sure. So still a 5-4 game now. Here we are getting out-hustled for the rebound, and that's a three. Sloan hits another one. He's got uh, five, actually six points already. 
as here is Watson from the outside. He misses the three, and here goes Oregon on the fast break here, and we do reach in and stop the break. Now, I know in the NBA they're actually going to put in a rule to stop that. I'm very, very glad if you're an NBA fan. Definitely something that I hate, like the transition fouls. But Oregon is in control early on in this game, and the Whitetails have not been able to hit many shots as we are still in the first quarter in Oregon up 10-4 and here they go running the break here is Hill he gets st stood up though and it looks like a uh, Randall could not handle it but he does corral it and he hits the three the White Tails will have to call a timeout Oregon going on a little bit of a run here in the first quarter we only have four points in under two minutes to go Pooh Van Macklin checked into the game. Now, here is Christian Love with the jump shot from about just free throw distance, maybe shorter than that. He can't get it to go as our reserves are in the game. Pooh Van Macklin, though, guarding the ball and gives up an easy layup in an and one. Foul on Van Macklin, and Oregon has a chance to go up by double digits, and they will. And they make it a 12-point game. I guess that was already double digits. Here's a turnaround uh, just under the hoop, and that one's missed. Here is Manny Pablo, the freshman, off of the bench. He runs the break and does draw the foul and gets to the basket. Now, Manny Pablo was a guy I highlighted in the first episode of having the highest ceiling. He is a freshman. He is really, really long, too, about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, he can also play a little point forward if he wanted to. I think that's kind of what we're going to develop him into being. So he's got two points early on, only two points off the bench. Here's a three from Oregon, and they had the last shot there. And that will do it here for the first quarter, 16-6. to six. See if the Whitetails can recover here in the second. This one will actually will be seven-minute quarters, as here is a defensive board by Pooh Van Macklin. He's going all the way to the basket with the left hand. Tough layup. He can't get it to go. Oregon now still in control. Here is Pablo with another rebound. He's going to go all the way to the basket and will draw the foul. And it will be Lawson for his first foul off of the bench. And here are upcoming games. We have Kentucky, Michigan, UCLA, and Boston College. You will at least see one of the two next games in this episode, Kentucky or Michigan. A little highlights from those as well as Pablo goes to the free throw line, hits both free throws. Back into the single digits here, 16 to eight lead here for Oregon. Here's a great drive, but a better block. And that is Pooh Van Macklin. Pooh Van Macklin is six foot five and can play the two guard or the point. But right now he's gonna be more of a point guard because he doesn't have much of a jump shot. So now here we are down by eight, but a bad pass that time by King Watson over to Dulock. And it's going to be a transition layup the other way. Oregon back up to a 10-point lead. Pass inside to Pablo. He has a little bit, a little bit of a mismatch. Lewis Malone on him. He gets it outside to Dulock for the first three of this series. Dulock is our best shooter, and we will definitely look to get him going from the three-point line. Lewis Malone the other way, though, answers right back for his first bucket of the game. Back up by 10 is Oregon. Janko Moon inside. A little bully ball. Look at him right under the hoop. And that's what we want to do with Moon. We know he is going to be probably one of our best scorers because of his ability to score inside. And it's just his uh, his uh, awareness and his veteran leadership. Here is a steal by Dante Peppers going all the way, but elects to not pass the ball and does get the transition layup. And we're back down by six. We're right back in this one. Here is Peppers backing down again inside the hoop, under the hoop, and that one is going to be missed on the reverse layup. And here comes Oregon the other way. Oh, great pass by Lewis Malone. And a good layup right there. 23-15, back to an eight-point game. About a minute to go here in the first half. Here is Moon again, backing down. Let's see what he can do. Guard one-on-one. Oh, look at the move. Inside, and that's an and one. Oh, no, it's not. It's an injury. Dante Peppers goes down. It looked like he may have just banged elbows with... Uh, uh, Oregon player and it looks like he's going to be down he's in a lot of pain so he will have to come out of the game Christian Love checks in for him and here is Manny Pablo with some good defense I thought but they will call the foul down by five here under 10 seconds left here here's a good look from Jarvis Joshua open three in and out that one could have brought it to a two-point game and that's how this first half will end 
24-19. to The Whitetails had a terrible first quarter, but we are getting used to the game. They did have a good second quarter coming back and really giving Oregon a run for their money. So in the first half, we saw a lot of good things. I think, you know, one thing is just getting the rhythm, getting used to playing with everybody. We only shot 26%. I mean, that is not good, but Oregon only shot 31. So I guess we're playing up to their level as well. Here we go in the second half. King Watson, who's been very, very quiet, will work it to Janko Moon, who's a little too far from the basket. I don't like this look here, but he does get some room and goes right into the defender and gets the layup. 24-21. You can already see what Janko Moon can provide to the team. Here's Malone, though. Oh, good crossover move, and Jarvis Joshua got crossed over on that one. King Watson picks up his third foul of the game. We will keep him in the game with three fouls, but we got to be careful. Five and you foul out, remember, in college. 26-21. Lewis Malone gets the pick, and he gets his second bucket of the game. He only has five points. So Oregon is doing it without really their leading score on the evening. So Oregon looking pretty good. I think we match up well versus them, but we will see how this game plays out. Sloppy offense here by the Whitetails. Oh, he gets his man off of the ground, and Stockton gets to the basket as well. So now in the third quarter, it's pretty much kind of a neck-and-neck -neck game, but 30-21, to 21, we're down by nine, but it seems like we're not down by that many. King Watson now working it inside Manny Pablo off the bench, who had a pretty good first half. He is a freshman. I'm going to kind of boost his minutes a little bit as the season goes on. Here is Janko Moon on the inside. How do you miss that one? That was a pretty easy look. But Lewis Malone goes the other way with an easy dunk. Nobody stops the ball in Oregon. Doesn't even seem like it, but they're up by 11. Here's a pass inside. Pablo has it under the basket. He gets rejected. Here goes Oregon the other way now. 32-21, 11-point lead. We got to clamp down here on defense. Here they work it around, swinging it to Baylor, their big man, getting it over to Stockton, who has six points today and a tough drive, and he does draw the foul on Elias Dulock. He is not happy with that foul call. Maverick Yarbo, the head coach of the White Tails, looks on. Maverick and Marlon are both brothers, coaches of the basketball team and the football team. Pablo, you can see the potential driving and drawing the foul. Whenever he has a smaller man on him, he's definitely going to get to the basket, and that's what he can do well. He shoots the mid-range pretty well also. He does miss the first of two, but the second one will be good. He has five points, three rebounds, and one assist so far. About two and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Here's a good steal this time. King Watson run the break. Janko Moon over to the corner. Elias Dulock had it, but did not take the three. Janko Moon gets it back. Mismatch. Little man on him. Got to get strong on that one. 33-24 now. Down by nine. Good defense initially, but a drive to the basket, and they will draw the foul on Janko Moon. That's his first foul of the game. At least he's been able to stay out of foul trouble. And they're back up by double digits here in the second half. One thing that we do have to do is probably run some more plays to free some more threes. We have not shot too many today here in 11-point lead. Here's Oregon with a good shot right there by Randall. They go back up by 13. I think one thing we have to learn to do also is use our bench a little more. We haven't been using our bench very well. We've seen Manny Pablo come off the bench, but, you know, nobody else really has made an impact as they go to the free throw line here, hitting one of two, 38-24. Running the break is Tristan Wynn. He gets stood up, but he goes to the basket using that body, that football frame. Remember, he is a defensive end for the football team as well. He can move a little bit. 38-28 now. Here's a long jump shot, but an offensive board by Baylor and gets a last second shot. Point two to go. And we will go into the fourth quarter. Down 40 to 28. That one sucks because I thought we were going on a little bit of a run there. Baylor on fire here. He gets the last bucket of the third. More sloppy offense to start the fourth quarter. There is a pass to Elias Dulock, and he cannot handle it. That throw was a little high. Tristan Wynn turns it over. Here is a possession here for Oregon. Open three. And another 
shot to put them up by 15 points now. Their biggest lead of the game. Here's Pablo inside off the bench. He stays in. Dulock on the board. He puts it up, and he will at least draw the foul on Swift. He goes to the free throw line and hits both free throws, 43-30. to 30. Here's David Cutler off the bench. He hits the shot from mid-range. He's got four points today, 43-32. to 32. Well, we start to make a comeback here with six minutes to go. Looking to bait him into that pass, though. Here is Swift with a tough jump shot. Turn around over Elias Dulock. And now it's 45-32. Win. Oh, he faded away on that one, but he does recover with the pass to Cutler inside to Manny Pablo, who puts a baby hook up. And Pablo's got seven off of the bench. I'm not sure if we should keep him coming off of the bench because he's shown to be one of our best scorers. Here is Win though. A fadeaway three. He should have had to set his feet on that one. Kind of got brought into the animation. But in transition the other way, Stockton with a two-handed reverse slam to put them up by 13 at that point. Two minutes to go. Here's Lewis Malone in transition. He misses that layup as the White Tails go the other way. I like to keep Manny Pablo in late in the game here, and I want to see what I got out of him. As you can see, he has been running the break pretty well, and now we're down by 10. So here we go. Can we come up with a stop here, at least just for dignity's sake? Here's a great block by Wynn, but they get the recovery and the layup. Kind of the story of this game. We're just getting used to this game. Oregon has taken advantage of certain opportunities, and we will go on to lose the opening game of this basketball season as King Watson gets to the basket. He's been quiet today. No points for King Watson. That may have been the difference as well as we lose this one 51 to 39. Oregon will take home the opener. I do use normalized stats, so uh, we will normalize based on, I think, 11 minute quarters. And today, Jenko Moon had 12 points, three rebounds. He went six of 10. I definitely have found something inside with him. I definitely need to figure out how to keep exploiting that because I could feel like he can go off for 20 something, 30 points, even in some nights. Manny Pablo was excellent off the bench. I'm not sure if I, like I said, should I keep him coming off of the bench? You see his versatility and what he can bring. He is just a lanky, long forward. He's a freshman too, so he's going to be a lot of fun to watch develop in this series. I think the story was Joshua and King Watson. Both of them had zero points in the opener as Sloan only had 11 for them. Randall had 12. And Malone didn't even have double digit scoring in this one, but we end up with the loss. But I think we actually, you know, are going to have a fun time with this game. I, I am really enjoying it. I had a lot of fun, at least like even just learning how to play because I'm, I'm not used to 2K at all. But the basketball squad, you know, we're going to get a lot better. We end up playing Kentucky next and we end up pretty much staying in this game for a lot of it. But then come up just short in the end we end up losing to kentucky 94 to 71 we go to this michigan game and it's a really close game here in the second half down by six pretty much just looking at the uh sim cast here one thing i don't like about it is that you can't like see the box score as this is going there's another way to sim here i forgot what it's called where you can go play by play and actually see the plays and the players with their icons running down the court and everything but we will hop into this game late here with under four minutes. Michigan up by six. We'll get the floater right there and go up by eight. This court is absolutely beautiful, by the way, here in Michigan. We will see what our offense can do this game to try to keep up with this Michigan team. They can run a little bit. They have a great scoring guard in Ellis Jr., and I think this is just going to be a team that we're going to face again and again in this series but right away, we go back down by five, and now it's a ball game. Under three minutes, here is a fadeaway by number 10 there. He misses the shot, and we get the defensive board. But here we get the steal. They get the steal right back in a transition layup, and it's a bucket there. They go back up by seven. As here comes Jarvis Joshua the other way. He gets the pick from Manny Pablo, tries to free up some space for Dulock, and he's getting double teamed. Back over to the top of the key, and that is Jarvis Joshua driving, and he will draw the foul. 
Back to a five-point game here, 78-73, two minutes to go. Here's a drive and a tough left-handed layup that time. And they will get it to go back up by seven. Joshua tries to get to the basket. I don't know why he stopped right there, but then he hesitates, and the defender comes over for the help. 80-73 to now, and Jarvis Joshua just takes the foul right there. A minute 18 to go. Here they are working it inside. This is a mismatch on King Watson, and, and they will exploit it. You know, I think the thing is, is that we're just going to have to learn how to play this game, to be honest with you. I think a lot of possessions are kind of like that because we don't really, you know, understand switching and everything like that. And I think we might have to turn, turn on the communication. I think we you have seen, like, the communication. I don't know what it's called here in this game, but, oh, there it is, switch. But they get the easy bucket. 86 to 74 just too much here down the stretch for Michigan's offense they actually run a really good offense here here's King Watson freeing up some space a little fade away from mid-range but he can't get it to go King Watson had 10 points in this game but remember in the opener he had zero I definitely want to learn how to score with him I think we can take advantage of his badges and we end up losing this game also to start the season 0-3, 86-74. Michigan takes advantage here at home. They are undefeated on the season. We are 0-3. As far as the power rankings go, we are actually are not the worst team in the uh, NCAA right now. And one thing I am going to do, I'm going to change the shot timing to real player percentage. So you saw that. Uh, right there on the screen and just through the first three games I said I do normalize the uh, stats here and the minutes so Dulock is averaging 15 points per game Janko Moon's averaging 9 points 6.3 rebounds Cutler's averaging 8 off of the bench Joshua averaging 6 I definitely want to get King Watson's average up I think he can average way more than 5.3 and then Tyrone Jones averaging four and three. He's been playing a little bit since uh, we did see that injury to Dante Peppers in the opener. It was just a sprained elbow, nothing too serious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm really looking forward to getting into this game because I actually had a lot of fun. It was refreshing. Like I said, I haven't played 2K in years, so getting back into it is a whole lot of fun. I had the Buffalo Braves series, and I was kind of uh, dabbling with 2K in that series, but now I'm happy to be back in kind of a college setting, so that's actually really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought of the team and the strategies going forward. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride.